I'm here today at uh, NAS Lemoore and we're at the Aviator Memorial on the base and what you're looking at is a statue of an aviator. Uh, the memorial commemorates various fallen aviators from different units. Uh, after we look at the statue, I'll show you some of the plaques and benches. Um, this is this area is parallel to the runway. There's a runway right there. There's no operations today. They only operate during the week, uh, as far as I know. And then you can see on the other side. Uh, the control tower. And there's a f <coughs> fuel storage. And there's another parallel runway right there. It's hard to see, but you can see the radar. So uh, let me take this around and I'll show you what the actual plaques are on the memorial. Sorry for the wind noise, it's about 15 miles an hour and it is creating a lot of noise. And this is the uh, back end It's a metal sculpture, and uh, there are benches around the outskirts with sponsors on them. And then the floor, as you can see, has uh, plaques and commemorating various fallen aviators. And um, there's a little plaque on the base that says, I don't know if you can read it. It says NAS Lemoore Aviator Memorial Association established 2013. And then this is lit up at night also. And anybody can come out here and see this. There is access. So uh, let me go over to one of the benches and show you some of the uh, aviators that are mentioned from the Vietnam era. So uh, VFA Unit uh, 25 uh, had uh, many combat losses. The ones that are listed here are Lieutenant uh, J.G. Carl L. Dowdy, 61065, Lieutenant Commander Harold P. E. Gray, Jr., 8765. A.N. Eddie Billups, Jr., 11365. Uh, Commander Clarence W. Stoddard, Jr., 91466. Lieutenant Commander Omar R. Ford, 102666. A.M.H. 3. Holly B. Russell, 112667. And Lieutenant Commander Fred H. Gates, 2nd, 81967. And Lieutenant J.G. Joseph P. Dunn, 21468. So that's just one of them. Uh, the VFA 25 is known as Fist of the Fleet, 1965 to 1968, A1 Sky Raiders era. Of course, they fly the F 18 Super Hornets now and F 35s here, but at that time, that was the aircraft. So I'm going to just uh, show you a couple more benches. Some of them are, are listed 
uh, with manufacturers that uh, serve the Navy. There's one one bench is Boeing. Uh, another bench. Donald Douglas uh, this particular bench is the A7 Corsair 2 Association with the motto not forgotten and then there's a sponsorship Black here from the Kings County Lions Club. All gave, some gave all. And Kings County is the county that the base is located in. City of Lindmore. And then here's another plaque. Uh, it says Matthew Parker Klopfer, nicknamed Plop. VFA 192 Golden Dragons. Lieutenant Klopfer truly embodied the values and principles of the U.S. Navy. He defended the weak and held fast in the face of opposition. He set an example of courage, duty, and honor. A devoted son and brother, caring friend, and great American. He's a true example of the strength, fortitude, and compassion of the human spirit. And then this particular plaque is uh, Toss for Cause, April 25th, 2014, a charity cornhole tournament hosted by the Lady Lids of the VFA 14. Here's a plaque, uh, Lockheed Martin. Also associated with the Navy, obviously. And then there's another one donated by Pacific Gas Electric Electric Company, a local utility on behalf of Lieutenant J.G. Jerry Carter, EFA 164 Ghost Riders. Now there's various plaques, there's a brick uh, surface here, and there's various plaques here, there's literally, there must be a hundred or more, so I can't read them all, apologies to those I didn't include, I'll just read some notable ones. Uh, for instance, one nearby says, uh, Lieutenant Charles Z. Walker, JTACZ, Switch 11, uh, gives the time 0942-71319, our beloved son. Uh, there's one to uh, Commander Neil Whalen Jennings, 1959 to 2017. And I see one here, uh, Judy Salisbury, 12 to 1942 to 96 2012, Pat Thompson, 6 to 1937 to 113 2013. Beloved parents of a naval aviator. Uh, it says another plaque says for our fallen warriors on behalf of the men and women of VFA 115, presented by CO number 61. Uh, There's a little poem, one more roll. Uh, it's on the base, the memorial, and 
Uh, it looks like it was either written or commemorating Commander Gerald Coffey, Hanoi, 1968. And it's, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's pretty long, but it says, We toast our faithful comrades now fallen from the sky and gently caught by God's own hand to be with him on high. And I also see a plaque here. Uh, in memory of those who perished doing what they loved most, dedicated by Commander Sarah C. Rhodes, and then in quotes, Diamond, I guess the nickname, VFA-16 EF Pilot, VFA-41, VFA-122. Just literally hundreds of plaques here commemorating different people, and um, it's pretty stark out here, and to see all this today, there's no clouds, no operations, just kind of a windswept area with the memorial. So we'll take one more look at the statute, and then I'm going to wind it up. Uh, this is Golden State AV Videos, Golden State AV Videos. So there's the statute at the memorial. And thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.